Hey guys, it is Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Got a massive one today. We're gonna to learn how to do Crypto Night by Three Doors Down. So this one's pretty simple. Shouldn't take you too long to get through it. It does have a lot of overdubs and stuff in it, which I'm not gonna cover all those. Just main, mainly the riffs, the chords, and then um, any of the solo stuff. So you're gonna hear uh, a lot of acoustic overdubs and stuff like that. So all of that's not gonna be covered, um, but um, it's kind of like a live version, I guess. Now, before we get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Ring the notification bell so you know it's a new video. You can like and comment on it. It really helps uh, with the YouTube algorithm. And if you really like what I do here on YouTube or anywhere online, please click the link in the description. That is a link to my Guitar Academy. That's how I can keep all this stuff going. So uh, that link will give you a free seven-day trial. My Academy is pretty much my online guitar school. All of my courses, you get just one subscription, you get full access to all of them. There's courses for complete beginners and then more advanced courses on technique, improvisation, ear training, theory, guitar tone. I'm live there every Saturday for just Academy members, so kind of, kind of a live stream so you can ask me questions in real time. And uh, you get personal support from me beyond that, so please go check it out. All right, so we are in standard tuning, so nothing to do there. Um, and let's jump into this main riff. There's, they vary this slightly throughout the song, uh, but... Uh, they do kind of have this main way of playing it for most of the song. And that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to start here with this. So that's based around a, that's, let me turn this delay off. It's based around uh, a B minor chord. So yeah, you don't have to hold the full bar. You really just need the four strings in the middle here. So. Uh, the second fret there on the A, fourth on the D and the G, and third on the B. All right, so what you can do is pick across those. So I'm picked from the A string all the way to the D, the G, all the way up to the B. Then go back down to the G string, and then the D string. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick the G string open. So when you have that open G, that gives you time to go and grab the next chord. So we have this. So when you have that open G ringing, you're gonna come over and grab the third fret on the low E and the second fret on the A. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick a cross from the sixth string all the way to the third string. So E, A, D, G. So hit this. And then we're gonna to go to the a sus two chord. So this is pretty similar to an A major chord. And then the chords that you're gonna hear strummed over that, like after two times of playing this riff, you hear some chords come in, which I'll talk about those. Um, they're actually strumming an actual full A major, not an A sus two. But um, here for the actual arpeggiated picking part that you, can, you hear mostly, it's gonna be an A sus two. So what that is, it's just the open A string, second fret there on the D, second fret on the G, and then the B string is open. That B, open B is what makes it a sus2. So we have this. And then we're gonna start back over with that same figure that we did on the B. Same thing. So the riff is basically going to be what we just did there three times first. Fourth time through, there's going to be a little variation. So that little ending was different. So it started the same there. So this is the fourth time through here. So that much of it's the same when you get to that open G string. And then you're going to go and hold the same G chord underneath it, but you don't need that note on the A string. You're just going to basically hold the third fret on the low E, then pick the open D, open G. the open A string and the open high E, open B, and the open G. So we have this. So 
So all together, four times through the riff, that ending is the, the last time through is the only one that variation happens. <laughs> Now, after you've played that riff twice, you're gonna hear some chords, like strummed chords that come in. It's on, there's like a, a guitar, acoustic and electric guitar, kind of strum it. But it looks like this. So you hear that come in over it, uh, the third and fourth time through. So it starts with that uh, a B minor, but just kind of, this is based around a B minor, but what you hear strum when it comes in, is you hear a B sus two with a kind of strummed up with an upstroke, kind of the, everything strummed upward. So that's just a bar at the second fret there. And then you have, instead of the third fret there on the B, you just let that be part of the, the second fret there, so it's part of the bar. And then the fourth fret there on the G, fourth on the D. Now, also, what they will do a lot in the song is that whenever they're playing this B chord, they put the F sharp in the bass, which is really probably a little bit later. So you can do that here if you want, or you can just kind of keep it five strings, so stopping at the A string, just like that. And then it goes to a G. So this G could be like a G power chord. So it's the third fret down the low E. Mute that A string with the bottom of that finger. Then open D, open G, third fret there on the B and the high E. And then to an A major chord. And then the second time through, when you come back around to start the B, the B chord, you'll do, the B chord, you do the full B minor. And then it's kind of strong roll, just kind of downward. And then back to the G and the A. So then the vocals come in after that. So we basically have this. And then the vocals come in oh, with this same riff that we did before. Remember, the fourth time is a little bit different. Um, and then uh, after that first verse, I've basically is just playing through that four times, uh, we had this little, I just call it kind of a transition riff. Um, it, and it has a little melody that's over it too. Uh, so the transition riff is basically just like this. back to verse two. So there's a little transition from the verse, first verse back to the second verse. And that's just that B minor chord. So this one though, is when you're gonna add that F sharp in the bass. So it's a full bar, all six strings of the second fret. And then in front of that, the third fret there on the B, fourth fret on the G, and fourth fret there on the D. You're gonna strum that, and then just move up to the third fret. So you still have a full bar, and then you take these fingers that you're playing on the second, third, and fourth strings, just move them up one string each, same exact pattern. So that's the fourth fret on the G, fifth on the D, and fifth on the A. And that's a G major chord, and then move that up two frets to an A major, so like this. Now there's a little melody that happens on top of that. I'll cover that. Uh, and the second time you do this section, the melody is slightly different, but looks, the melody will say this. And that leads us back into verse two. So most of that melody, uh, really except for one note, is on the G string. Hit that uh, fourth fret a couple times, then six, seven, uh, the nine, seven, six, so this. And then you're gonna come down to the seventh fret on the D, so it's the only note that's on the D string, and then back to six, four on the G, so this. Here, back, we're gonna go back up again. So 
So that's going to start here at the fourth fret again. So this is the second half of it. A couple times on the fourth fret there. Then six, seven. Slide up to 14. Still on the G string. 12, 11, 9, 11. And then verse 2 comes in. Now the verse 2 is like slightly different. When they, as they start getting to the later verses, um, instead of doing the whole thing four times through or with that ending, that variation, they put the variation on the second time and the fourth time through. So they just kind of liven it up. They're just kind of building the track as it goes. This second verse is slightly different. It looks like this. So we basically, it's the same riff the first time through. So this is verse two we're talking about. And then when you come to do the riff the second time, there's a little variation that happens only one time in the song. It looks like this. So that ending starts with the same B minor to the open G. And then here we're going to have this, third fret on the low E, open D, open G, open B, then the open A, and then um, we're going to play the open B string, open high E, and then back to the open B. So it's, that's the only time you hear that, that I picked it up in the song. Um, so we uh, basically have this. And then it starts now, the third time through is just like the first. And then the fourth time through is like the fourth time through in the original, the first verse. All right, so now coming out of verse two, we have our first chorus. We're gonna rock it out a little bit. Uh, so kick up the distortion and we have this. So that's going to start with this B power chord, which has the F sharp in the bass. So that's that second fret across the low E and the A. Fourth fret there on the D and the G. So it's kind of warm. I don't like playing it. Live, you see one of the guitar players play it kind of like... It doesn't sound that aggressive on the recording. It sounds more like kind of a kind of like a little muted hits in it. And then it goes to this G power chord. So the power chord off the third fret of the low E string kind of lightens up the rhythm there, let it ring. Then up to the fifth fret for the A power chord. So it's, And then back to that B power chord with the F sharp in the bass. Then the E power chord, open E, so open E string power chord. And then the second fret power chord, the F sharp power chord off the second fret of the low E. So we have this all together. Repeat. All right, from there we get back to a, that transition section that we did before, which was just that B chord strum to a G to an A with that little melody over it. It's pretty much that same section again. The melody is slightly different. The very beginning of the melody is slightly different. I think the end of it's the same. So you can kind of play like the, we did the first one. No need to kind of do anything new with that one. But then we get to verse number three. So now verse number three um, is... 
the way I can explain it is it's the normal way of playing the riff, which like when the first verse, when we did the... Just like that. And remember the variation that we did the fourth time through? That comes next. So it's the normal way of playing it, then the variation. Then the normal way of playing it, then the variation again. So it goes back and forth between the two. So it does. And then that takes us back to the same chorus again. Uh, so nothing new to learn there for that chorus. But coming out of that chorus, we have not really a guitar solo. It's more like a guitar melody that's being played that is brought back in at the end of the song with a slight variation at the end. So you can see it as the solo or, or whatever. Now, underneath that solo, it's basically kind of like uh, the chords of the chorus without any kind of real rhythm, You're just kind of hitting each chord once and letting it ring. So what's going on underneath that solo or underneath that melody looks like this. It sounds a lot better with some distortion, so let's put some distortion on it. Looks like this. So it's just like that. You already know the chorus, just hit them each one and let them ring. So it's just the chords, the chorus. All right, so let's look at that melody. So that melody is going to be played the first time like this, and there's going to be a variation of it that we're going to do in a second. So it looks like this. So that's going to start here at the second fret of the A string. Two, four, so. Then up to five, back to four, five, four. Then slide into seven. Five, four, then five, four, over to five on the low E string. So this. And then we're gonna go uh, kind of the first time, especially he does it a little aggressively. Kind of playing between seven and five on the low E, but he puts a little rhythm in. And then he goes over to. So that's going to be five seven repeated on, on the A string. Like four times. Kind of alternate pick that. And then four five done the same. So four five. So this. Repeat. And just end it with that B power chord. And we it takes us to a bridge part here that the chords, I call it a bridge, even though it's kind of like a, a verse again, but it's a to me it's a bridge because the chord progression is different from the verses, the previous verses. And it's very similar, except they just reverse to the chords. So instead of going to, um, um, the B minor to the G to the A, it reverses that, this bridge. So coming out of that first solo, the first guitar melody, it's a B minor, then the A, then the G. And then you repeat that. So that's kind of like the basic underlying. It's just those three chords that are repeated, and there's a ton of guitar fills. There's guitars that are arpeggiated to picking it, and there's clean guitars, there's acoustic guitars, there's chord guitars strumming it. So really the best bet to kind of make something sound similar is, one, play the chords kind of like this, like bar chord. 
So first that B minor, then that A major here is the full bar at the, um, we did that earlier, uh, at the fifth fret, and then the G. So that's the underlying harmony of it. And then kind of strum them and pick across them, kind of like this. nothing that succinct to it just kind of I kind of mix it all up just across those three chords so that's kind of the best way to really attack that bridge if you don't have 16 guitar players in your band which I hope you don't anyway so then it gets back into the chorus again uh, so same chorus that we did before and then it goes back into that guitar melody to end the song and the guitar melody is slightly different than what we heard earlier in the song so the guitar melody now sounds like this And then it ends. The song, the song ends on that beat. So it's uh, the same melody for one time, the first time through. Then the second time through is when the variation comes in. So it starts the same to there, but instead of sliding to the seventh fret, it slides all the way up to the ninth. Then seven, five, four, back to five, and back to five, then over to five on the low, on the low E. So it is. And then from there, the riff's the same. And then end it, the whole song on that B power chord. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a massive song, and uh, it's taken me a while to get around to it, but we have done it now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com.